Blessings, Gemini, Soul Travelers, and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You are joining Priestess Melissa, and we're here to do your weekly reading. This week, we're going to be doing your reading with the Star Temple Oracle cards and seeing what message comes out for you, as well as an affirmation. Now, these are general readings, so if you do need a personal reading, reach out to me at venusianways.org. Also, watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos to get a full understanding of what might be going on for you today, Gemini. Also, do bear in mind that I have the tarot certification course that I'm going to be holding on December 9th through the 11th. So you want to go ahead and get signed up for that because with my class, not only am I an official priestess, but you get all of the tools that you need to get started and succeed. So you can hit the ground running as soon as you get the training done, okay? Um, so all of that information is going to be in the description box below. How cool is that, right? You can read for yourself anytime you want to and you don't have to pay each time you want to know something. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what's coming out for you today in the tarot. Uh, in the Lightseer's deck, well, looks like we're uh, getting our head right, clearing our head in regards to something, Gemini. What is this? Seems like we've been up in our head perhaps about something. What is this all about? Ooh, some toxic energy for sure. Devil coming out with that. Wow. Somebody may have the heartstrings attached. Definitely they uh, got the mind attached. You know, you may be thinking about somebody today. It could be somebody that brought a lot of toxic behavior into the situation. Ooh, ooh. and we have a Six of Cups energy. I'm going to stop shuffling now. I kind of see where this is going, and maybe you do too, Gemini. Hit the like button if you're resonating already with this message. All right, so Light Sears and Vice Versa Tarot is also going to be giving us... Oh, I saw Ace of Cups in reverse, and I saw that dang Six of Cups energy again. Wow, wow, wow. We definitely got some soulmate, you know, twin flame. Very strong connection in any case energy going on here, so... All right, Gemini, we're going to get some advice from the Divine Doors message cards. So do you stick around to the end for that? 222 two, two coming up on the timer, as well as love messages from the Lover's Oracle cards. All right, very good then. We're going to get going with this message. Somebody could be thinking of you right now. Feels like you may be in separation with somebody. Let's see what's going on here. The holidays can be a tough time, right? All right, thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides, honoring you for the messages. Clear and concise for Gemini, please. Okay, Gemini. Definitely feeling a lot of zip, 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 zip. We're back and forth. We're definitely the mind is racing is what I'm getting um, just immediately when I'm <laughs> feeling into your energy. So yeah, whatever it is, you're thinking a lot about it. Maybe you saw somebody over the holidays or maybe you're thinking about potentially getting together with someone over the holidays or somebody else is thinking about that with you. But we saw the devil, so do be aware of that. What's coming out for Gemini, please? For Gemini. I'm going to put this back because somebody else got it. I don't remember who right now. Um, but Morning Star. So this is definitely an energy of a lot of your focus right now is on something that you're working on achieving. Like probably in your career life because that energy talks about... Um, like you're, you're rising, like, you know, maybe your business is doing well or something like that, or if you're in the public eye, like, more people are seeing you, you're getting more exposure, that kind of thing. Maybe that's why this person wants to come back. The Oracle and Forecast. I am the Oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. So you've been getting some intuitive hits about something yourself, you know, so maybe you just come to readings to get a confirmation. Well, Whatever you've been thinking about, it looks like you're probably right. And if you're coming to me to confirm that, maybe that's what I'm here to do with this oracle energy coming out for you. But just know that you are tapping into that gift yourself. And like I said, learning to read the tarot for yourself, that is going to unlock more of those gifts for you, just so you know. All right, so the Star Daughters dance. I dance, sing, and play with my sisters at sunset. So 32 energy on the bottom there. So what I feel is like um, 
you're just not feeling good in this energy that you've been in. Yeah, the fallen star and shame. I no longer hide my face. I step into the light with love. So this is a time of forgiving yourself for some reason, as well as allowing yourself to play again, to feel good again, you know? So this is definitely healing something that you know deep within yourself that you've been given the intuition about. Yeah, we all play a part in our situations in our lives, but you know, there's definitely, again, the part that the other person plays as well. And 19 coming out for your um, energy when we add those, that's a 10. So one, this is all about your balance, your centeredness, your oneness, if you will, you know? You have been tapping into your gifts. I don't know if you've been trying to directly, but this is definitely alluding to that you know that what you've been seeing is true. And you also know that you've got to move out of this energy of beating yourself up. Five, 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 I just saw on the timer. That may be very important for you, Gemini. All right, so the oracle. Your, your uh, uh, affirmation for this week is, I am the oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. I am the oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. I am the oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. For see, for know, and foretell are the energies of this card. Despite being the youngest sister of the Pleiades, Seleno is the wise and highly intuitive oracle of the Star Temple. She appears to you now to guide you forward on your spiritual quest for intuitive illumination. Seleno also affirms that you are an oracle of the light yourself. You have the gift of prophecy and the ability to shine your intuitive touch to lead and enlighten lost souls. Mm, you need to take my course. <laughs> Embrace your intuitive intelligence and focus on service. See, know, feel, and express your innate awareness with honorable intentions. Trust in your own inner oracle and cosmic link to the divine. What? Gemini, you are an oracle. At least you have that ability to be. It's just about tapping into it. I mean, just like me, you know, like I'm an oracle as well, but that's why I kind of chose to pick up the uh, tarot cards because then this gives me an opportunity to practice with that every day. Now, when I first learned, it was with nothing. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, when I took the priestess class and that's what it was, was oracle priestessing from the Delphi, you know, oracle of the Delphi. So we trained under the same time or type of premise. Oh, I'm getting emotional because that was very emotional for me. So a lot of connections that I can't really share right here because it's too deep. But what I mean to say is, uh, you know, this has helped me to tap more into myself and trusting myself and knowing myself. That's why I'm so passionate to help other people with that, you know, to know that you can rise above these situations in your life. You know, you can be happy again. You don't have to be subject to, you know, um, not knowing, just kind of like being um, at the mercy of whatever happens to you because we do have some control over that is what I mean to say, Gemini. And you are holding back as well from anybody perhaps that might be trying to manipulate you, you know, just tell you what you want to hear. Uh, mind fuck you, <laughs> you know, as they always say. You're done with that, you know? You can't trust this person to catch you, you know? What do they call that? The trust fall? You couldn't trust this person uh, is what this feels like, and maybe that's what you're seeing. You just get, need to get out of there. You need to stop. You just, to stop trying to make sense of it, stop trying to make something work, that's really what I'm seeing here. You know what has been coming through for you and what this is about. But this is asking you to really, wow, magician on the bottom, understand that you have this connection. If you're hearing this message, you know, you have that connection. This is not just me saying that, but I mean, I feel it. And I know how that is for me and how that has helped me so much. You know, you're probably rebuilding a lot of things in your home right now. Things have been turned upside down, money. 
um, is maybe not quite where you want it to be. Queen of Pentacles, otherwise you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. Definitely, if that's the case, it doesn't look like you're giving this person a second chance for sure, you know. Um, maybe they were just after you for your money, who knows. Um, but they brought a lot of burdens in any case is what I see here. Alright, um, and this is what you were seeing. You were really, you know, figuring all of this out. And you want to be happy. You don't want somebody to steal your treasure. You know, you don't mind sharing it, but, you know, you don't want somebody trying to take things from you or... Yeah, you definitely don't want to deal with somebody who's not committed. And you're not committed as well to anything that doesn't, you know, uh, equate to happiness and wish fulfillment. This is you sitting in your power with that emperor, you know, taking control is what I feel of the situation, understanding what you know, and making choices based on that. Moving forward, I think you know that you're not going to have success in whatever this situation is that you've had this insight and understanding around. The blindfold is off, not only outwardly, but inwardly, most importantly. And that's where we really needed it to be off, off of our mind, you know, swords energy. We needed to just be honest with ourselves that we needed to end this struggle, this conflict, this, you know, no more competition, you know, you're done with this kind of energy, right? No more worrying. You know, th this kind of energy, when you're connected with it, you can't stand in your power that way. King of Wands in reverse, for sure. And you could have been um, potentially dealing with a fire sign, also Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, uh, Gemini. Okay. Whew. Now that I think I've kind of basically composed myself, my apologies for getting emotional on you there. But hit the like button if you're resonating for sure, though. If you have been tapping in and feeling like that you have some gifts that you're tapping into and you're like, you find out that you're right about something, you're like, man, I just knew it. I knew I was right. You know, but if this keeps happening or if you really are getting like actual visuals and things like that or having dreams, seriously, you know, be real about that and tap into it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, moon energy, yeah. Definitely there was some questions about like where the money was going and that kind of thing. I feel like you were feeling like somebody was spending money is what it feels like on things or purchases or something of that nature, like hidden things. Yeah, you went searching is what I feel like though, but I think somebody... <laughs> Definitely kept you in the dark for a while about it is what it looks like Until you saw all these charges finally you started investigating. You're like what's going on here. Yeah, you're not confused You are definitely balanced about this no longer going back and forth about it with the two of Pentacles in reverse uh, And the judgment in reverse again, whatever you saw you decided wasn't worth you continuing to give your energy or your time to this. Definitely not going down that path again where things didn't work out. I see this as you looking at the situation and just like, it's dead, you know, nothing here. Burdens, Ten of Wands energy, what is this all about? Yep, for sure, you're not giving that a second chance here. It comes out again with the judgment in reverse. Why? Why would you want to go back to something that was bad and you knew that, right? How could it be better at this point? <laughs> yeah. How could it go that quickly from that to this, right? Happiness. Stabbing you in the back to happiness. Yeah. You're healing. And look at this. You have so much coming forth. I feel like this is your gifts opening up as you're healing is what I get. There's a treasure of gifts that are opening up to you, right? And it's going to allow for more than you can imagine, you know, to come into... <clears throat> into your life because now you're in the right energy for it to do so. Yep, you definitely were investigating or pulled back and you saw perhaps where you needed to, you know, not be committed to this situation that you were in. Someone who it felt like was trying to control you, control the home with money perhaps, you know, and things of that nature. Emperor coming out next, yep. I got that Five of Swords energy. 
somebody in nostalgia, but at the same time, ooh, we got a mistress energy. They're looking back, but see, they walked away, you know, and they were like, I'm the one who won, right? You're like, no, no worries. I'm not even going to fight you. I'm leaving. But at the same time, maybe, you know, you have some nostalgia. But this person, Queen of Wands in reverse, that's not good energy. They're definitely going to tell you what they need to tell you. You know, this person is always thinking about you is really what I get with this energy. But it's like the only reason that they would want to get back into the situation is just to try to control it. <laughs> yeah, let's see. There's the Emperor, but you got the Queen of Cups with their back. So it could be talking to a male specifically, but in any case, it doesn't matter. You know, it's about the energy of the person. You're resting after, you know, finally understanding that there's not going to be any success with this situation, basically, with the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands in reverse. It's time to put an end to this, you know, craziness. Yeah, Seven of Swords energy here. You know exactly what this person brings with them, and you don't want to have to worry about looking over your back all the time. And this is exactly what you've been alluded to, that this person is, you're not going to be able to catch them per se, but you're going to know what's going on with this person. Yeah, absolutely. You got the lovers. and stuck. Yeah, this person just, they're not trying to argue with you necessarily, you know? You're definitely not, but this person wants another chance, but all they would do is keep you stuck. And you know this. You know that it's mostly all about control. It's time for you to have that new cycle. You know, start a new chapter in your life where you truly are happy. Oh, that's beautiful, right? We want the right choices. We don't want this confusing energy where we're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it feels good in the beginning, right? But then what happens, you know? It just goes all haywire. People are very interesting, is all I can say. Okay, Gemini, let's get some divine door messages for you moving forward. But definitely, you found out something. You're doing some healing right now. This person definitely still has somebody in the background. He's still thinking about you. Wants to come back into the picture. Palmistry says, Fortune and tarot, collective destiny, the palm lines from birth, tell your sacred palmistry. Look at that. Tarot coming out again for you with the oracle. Definitely should take that opportunity if you have December 9th through 11th available for the tarot certification course because we do go into the intuitive aspects of reading the cards as well. So it's not just about learning the tarot cards. You actually get quite a bit with my course. Whoops. We got lots coming out here today. Jeez. Okay, I can't take that many. Yeah, that's too many. But somebody is thinking about you because I saw the prayer flag one. Just know that, yeah, somebody's definitely thinking about you. So begin here is the energy that came out for you. And it says, do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. All right? It's time for you to move to peaceful pastures, where they say greener pastures, the ones that truly are going to be happy, you know, the ones that you really can relax in. You don't have to, again, be looking over your back all the time and worried about what somebody may be doing when you already know. So why deal with it if you already know, right? <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe and bell notification for me, guys, if you don't mind. Thank you. All right, you got three cards out again. Here we go. Ready? So give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way, Gemini. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Don't settle for less. 1919, which is the number of your card. Very important. Okay, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And that's where we want to live, right? In the soul. And that's how we tap into our oracle. Mm -hmm. And power says you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. 
beautiful. Guys, check below for the tarot certification course and any other details you may need. Hit the like button, bell, and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you soon and bye for now.